Let's take a look at how you would create an OSGI application using Tornado FX. First of all, to run Tornado FX in an OSGI container, you have to download and install some bundles. Usually, that's just a matter of downloading these jars and put them in the bundle directory of your OSGI container. We also provide an installation of Apache Felix with all these bundles already installed. So I have downloaded this bundle, and uh, this is how it looks. So inside the bundle directory, you will see all the bundles listed here, along with the default bundles for Apache Felix. The first thing we're going to do is start this uh, application. We'll list the running bundles, and as you can see, the Tornado FX bundle is running. Of course, we haven't provided a UI to it yet, so that's what we're going to do next. We'll create some kind of a dashboard application that will provide a, a window to uh, the Tornado FX runtime to show. But it's not going to contain anything more, but it's going to ask others to contribute to this window. So this first module will base off of the Maven OSGI project template from the Tornado FX plugin. We'll call it Dashboard. Now this comes with a default view called main view. So what we do is just rename this and we'll call it dashboard view. It will be quite simple. It will contain a VBox. And this VBox, as I mentioned, will not have anything in it by default. So we're going to set some, uh, some uh, properties so that it will still take up uh, some space even though it's empty. So we'll call it, well, we'll use uh, this size for it. Also give it a, a title, let's call it dashboard. Now comes the magic. We'll tell the, the OSGI Tornado FX runtime that we want to embed other views inside of this and we'll use the add views when function for that. And we would like to add views that are contributed and uh, that have set their discriminator to be dashboard. That's actually the whole dashboard application. We do have to make sure that the activator registered this application in the OSGI runtime. So all we need is this line, which is in the plugin by default, which registered this as an uh, application. Now, before we're done, we're also going to make sure that this uh, has it own, uh, its own uh, package space. So instead of just being inside app and view, let's create a package, call it uh, dashboard bundle, for example and move view and app into it. That should be it. So we can build. And this will give us a bundle jar that we can drop into Felix. So first, let's stop Felix for a second, and then drop this into the bundle directory. Now when we start Felix, you can see that the, the application we provided was automatically started. But it's not doing anything yet, so let's change that. We'll create a new application or a new project. Oh, sorry, that was hard. Also based on the OSGI project template, we'll call this for Pi charge bundle. It's going to provide a pie charge to this dashboard. So the main view we'll call pie chart view. Let's import tornadofx.star to make this easier for us. And we'll just snip this from the charts page in the wiki. So this is what we want. In this one, we're not even going to bother with the title for the view because it, it, it won't show up anyway. We're just going to embed the component inside this dashboard component. Now the activator is going to look a bit different because we're not going to register an application. We're going to register a view instead. And this is pretty straightforward. This is the view we want to register. And this is the discriminator for that view. So it's just basically a key that the, the dashboard can use to double check that this is something it wants to embed. Now let's build that module. 
and we're ready to install it. But this time we're going to do it a bit differently. So instead of using this boring text-based console, we're going to bring up the built-in Tornado FX OSGI console. And you can do that by hitting Meta, Alt, and O. And this one is quite nice because it supports actually a drag and drop. So let's find our bundle. And focus the OSGI console again and drop it in there. So now you can see it's there, but it's just installed. It's not active. It's not running. If we have a look at our application, it still looks the same. So let's start the bundle. And as you can see, it automatically uh, gave its view to the dashboard. So we're going to add one more module and it's going to do about the same. So real quick here, we'll call this uh, something else. Let's see what kind of chart we have. We have a bar chart. So we'll call it bar chart bundle. Gonna create the package. Move these in there. And now we'll rename this main view bar chart view. Paste in the code. Fix the imports and make sure the activator actually gives away this bar chart view. Ready to build. And we can drop that one in there as well. So let's take a look at the UI. It's still just showing the one bundle. But now when we start the bar chart bundle, it shows both. Now we can actually stop the pie chart bundle. And it will keep the bar chart bundle. When I start the pie chart bundle again, it will be appended to the VBox, as you can see. So our application is running and I want to show you just one more thing before we say goodbye. And that is that you can actually stop the actual application as well. So when I stop the application, the UI goes away. And this is not uh, normally possible with a, uh, with a JavaFX application. If you stop it, then you can't start another application before the JVM is restarted. But with the OSGI, and the way the Tornado FX plugin is made, that's possible. So I can actually start the application again. And as you saw, when the uh, dash dashboard uh, bundle started, it found the contributors at once and included them. If I stop it one more time, and I stop the pie chart bundle and then start again, only the active plugins will, will show up. That's it for the first OSGI demo. Hope you liked it.